non lo so. È il puntale di una lancia. Dai. Ursus, let me see how big a fibber you are. Ah. Uh, I don't know anything about spears. I know you were a great warrior once. Been a simple farmer like our father was. Where? Come on. No, I'm tired now. Ah. Uh, very well. Let's rest a bit then. Don't leave. But that's too much for me. Come on, Darius. If you don't eat, you'll never be big and strong like me. A warrior like you? A farmer. I told you I'd never been anything else, and that's what you'll be, too. In that case, I don't want to grow up either big or strong, and I won't eat it. <laughs> You'd better, or I'll give Ow. you some spanking. Come on, be a good boy now. Here. Bye, Stella, bye. There he is. What do you want? We're looking for you, Arsus. The Princess Sarah wishes to see you. The Princess Sarah? We are part of her escort. We are camped three leagues from here. Anyone, Lydia? I'm sure he's on his way. He's like Ogus. The heat of the day is past now, my dear princess. If you wish, you may resume your journey. Not quite yet, like Ogus. I see no purpose in prolonging our stay. The horses are rested and watered. I want to say goodbye to someone before I go away from my father's kingdom forever. Ursus? Why, yes. How did you know that? I know that his plot of land is about three leagues away. Appunto. E io ho pensato di mandarlo a chiamare. Non spetta a me rimproverare. E a nessuno, comunque. Non ci sarà nulla di male a dire addio a un uomo che mi è stato devoto. Here he is, they're coming now. Thank you for coming so soon, Ursus. My devotion to you is the same as ever. I wanted, I only wanted to tell you that my father has been most ungrateful to you. On the contrary, I've no complaint. I've been amply rewarded with the plot of land which supports me and my little brother. But the service you did for him on the battlefield deserves more than that. To tell the truth, I didn't ask for more. It's very loyal of you not to feel badly toward him. You're forgetting that your father is my king. I suppose so. But it was cruel of my father to send you away. The fault was mine. I dared to raise my hopes too high. But I too was in love with you. You too were mistaken. You're the daughter of a king, and your destiny requires that you marry a king. Zagro is great and powerful. You know where I'm traveling and why, don't you? I learned that from the soldiers you sent to call me. Oh. I don't know what sort of life I'll have. I hope with all my heart you'll have a happy life. And I hope so too, Ursus. I wish you every happiness. Goodbye, Princess Syra. Goodbye, Ursus.
Darius, why did you leave the farm? What are you doing here? Whoa. Don't be angry with me, Ursus. I saw some mean-looking men on horseback, and I rode after you to warn you. If you ask me, I'd say they were bandits. Is that so? And where did you see them? Show me. There. And by now, they disappeared. They all went off in that direction. You're telling the truth. Good for you, Darius. I always tell the truth. You're the one that fibs all the time. Hey, wait for me. Come on, move. Ursus, please wait for me. Come on, I said. why those outlaws have made off with everything you own. They might very well have killed me. I owe my life to Ursus. Your escort has been cut to pieces. Do you think it wise to go on with so few soldiers? Oh, no. I would be afraid. Those robbers might come back again. But for what purpose? They've already stolen all they can. They should be satisfied. If you'll permit me, Princess Sira, I will be your escort to Zagro's capital. Oh, thank you, Ursus. Thank you. Can't you make this barge go any faster? Not with the load I'm carrying. It was you who insisted on carrying the horses and men together. You there, give him a hand. Remove the barrier. Put the horses ashore first. Hurry. Hey, my friend, who's paying here? Give him the payment he has coming to him. Ah! You manage the ferry in his place. Go on, I'll call you when I want you. The princess mustn't be left alive, but it must look like an accident. And now go on back to the other bank. You know what you have to do over there. At the foot of this hill, we come to Mirza's ferry. And the river is the boundary of the kingdom of Caria. The great King Zagro keeps his land safe from bandits with the most efficient militia. That is also true of my father's land, as far as I remember. I've never before heard of a bandit raid like the one we've just been through. Get out of sight, all of you! 
All we have to do now is to fix the tow rope and do a good job. Just leave it to me. It shouldn't break right away. That's enough now. There they are. Let's go. Your barge seems solid, but with this wind blowing... There's nothing to fear at all. I ferried loads that weighed a lot more than your party. Maybe, but we'll do it in more than one trip. The first will be Syrah and Lydia, and you, Lycurgus. And six slaves will stay here on this side until we come back. Is that right, Darius? We can also take two of the horses with us. Bring them on board. Let me go for you. We'll make it faster. There's a bad storm brewing. Push off! Wind is exactly what we needed. He's a demon. We'd better get away while we still can. Let's get started. Come on. Look how strong a brother is, Darius. Guarda! Non avrei mai dovuto fidarmi di te, lurido cane. Ladro! 
Quello che ti interessava lo hai preso. Non te li sei lasciati scappare i gioielli? Ti giuro, divina, devi credermi. Ho obbedito fedelmente ai tuoi ordini. Fedelmente, canaglia? Ma Stira è viva. I nostri patti erano chiari. A te i gioielli, a me la sua vita. Nulla si può contro di lei con quel gigante che la protegge. E vuoi farmi credere che un uomo solo ha sconfitto la tua banda? Power of a hundred men at least. And Ramos is also strong. He will give you the punishment you well deserve. Mercy divine. Have mercy. I've loyally served you. Believe me, I've done the, the best I could to obey. Give him the no! No! And you oh. for every one of those monstrous lies you dare tell me. Whip the life out of his worthless oh, body. Pity. Oh! Oh! Great King Zagro, I extend you the greetings of my own king, and I bring you the most beautiful gem in all his kingdom. I bid you welcome to my court, Princess Sira, daughter of King Altheus. Welcome to this country, which will also be your own. And my thanks to you, noble Lycurgus, for having brought her to me in safety. You should also give your thanks to Ursus. I owe my presence here with you to what he did for me during this fateful and eventful journey. I want to compensate you for all you've done to protect Syra. Ask whatever you wish, Ursus. Make my princess happy. That is the only wish I have in my heart. Consider it fulfilled. Here at my court, the former princess Syra will reign as queen and mistress. I will see her surrounded with affection and devoted friends. Ah, here is Sabra. She is my cousin and ward, because her father entrusted her to me as he was dying. And I would like to have you two come to know and love each other like two sisters. With all my heart, I'd like nothing better. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that. This court of Zagros is a bit too grand and monotonous for one lady all alone. My dear, I've been awaiting your arrival with impatience. Well, now, on our return to Lycia, I'll be able to give my king the best of news. Shall we leave at once? Why be in such a hurry? I want you to be my guests, and this evening I shall offer a great feast in your honor. Well, the little boys ought to be in bed by now. Yes, they should, but I'm a man now. No. Since when? Since I began to fight battles with Ursus. Yes, yes, but now it's bedtime. I think you should sleep a little bit. Come on now. refused to accept the reward that I was willing to give you, Ursus. Do you still persist in refusing my offer? I do. Look at those lovely ladies. If I were to say to you, pick out whichever one you want and take her hand in marriage, what would you do? You cannot give me the woman I love, Zagro. Ursus doesn't find this conversation exactly amusing. <laughs> then our giant really is in love with someone. It must be a love as gigantic and bold as he is. <laughs> That's enough. You are speaking to King Zagro. And you are addressing a guest of yours. You have no right to make fun of him. <laughs> Don't take it to heart. It was only a joke. If it was in bad taste, I'm sorry. No, no, let's forget it. Music, dancing. Don't be offended. Enjoy yourself. With your permission, King Zagro, I'd like to get some sleep now. Feel free to do whatever you wish. <laughs>
I'd say my delicate bride-to-be has a soft spot in her heart for that well, group. if the admiration she has for his brute strength may be termed a soft spot in her heart. Ah, don't waste talk on trivialities. Besides, what does it matter? It's time we left here. We must discuss certain things that are much more important to us. Close the door. Is Sabra aware of the true intent of your plan? I have only told her that this marriage has been forced upon me by reasons of state. Yes, but if you don't also answer her questions, you may have much to fear from her jealous nature. I'm far more afraid of her wagging tongue than of her jealousy. To prevent secrets from being revealed, there is only one method. Don't tell them to anyone. Have I your assurance that no one knows except us two? <laughs> Not even you would ever have known, if it weren't that you're such an indispensable part of my plan. Ah, yes. The fact is that I am the one who will have to take action when I am given the right opportunity. You'll get it, and you'll act, because I'm able to pay you handsomely. What you are doing for me will earn you much more gold than all you've managed to extract from Altheus in all the long years that you've been toiling as his faithful servant. Oh, I have no doubt about it. And it's for that reason that I'm working for you, for only the highest motive. I admire your frankness, at least. Oh, I have no cause to feel ashamed of myself in front of you, for my thirsting after riches is only equaled by your thirst for power. <laughs> the man who took you across the river wasn't the ferry boat operator. Who was he? A murderer. He and his accomplices killed my father. Are you quite sure the tow rope had been cut? I'm sure of it. Someone must have been trying to put us out of the way. All one of us, that's certain. Sirrah? Neither you nor I are as important as she. Who could be responsible for this? I don't know, but you'll have to render one more service to your beloved princess. What is it? Return to the royal palace of Kari as fast as you can, and give warning to Zagora that imminent danger threatens Sira. She needs protection. Very well. Let's go, Darius. You must be tired, little brother. Yes, and I'm even hungrier than I am tired. We'll eat at the first tavern we come No, Ursus. Even if we get there an hour late, it could mean Sira's death. The horses are exhausted. We'll have to stop anyway. I think the moment has come to stop the rebellion. Keep still. I tell you, the time is not ripe yet for us to go into action. Zagru is still too powerful. Don't talk too much. This place is full of spies. some dinner and I need a couple of fresh horses. Two horses at this hour? Why, that's impossible, sir. We must have two horses at any cost. Have you any money with you? I don't, but Zagro does. Are you trying to tell me that the king will pay for the horses? Certainly. He's a great friend of ours. Oh, is he? Ha! Huh. Good for you. He's a great friend of the king. He's another he one of very spies. He's a friend of Zagro's. Did you hear that? He's trying to get two horses. Are you trying to find some horses? Yes. Ursus! Anya! What are you laughing about? What are you laughing at me for? I should be laughing at you, playing a tavern keeper. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what these rascals were just telling me about you. Why, I've known Ursus since he was so high. I can assure you he couldn't possibly be a friend of that tyrant. <laughs> Excuse us, Ursus. Don't take offense. Come and have a drink of wine with us. Who did they take me for? Well, to put it into a few words, they tried to tell me you were a spy. It's not our fault, you know. The little boy told us you're a great friend of Zagros. My little brother's not old enough to choose his words with much wisdom. We're headed for the palace because we have a message to deliver to Zagro, but our friendship begins and ends with that. What did I tell you, fellows? Ursus is the most big-hearted and loyal man I've ever known. How could he be in league with such an oppressor of the people as King Zagro? From what you say, Zagro must be very unpopular. Watch well, yourself, the guys here at the door. The soldiers are here. If they've come here to arrest us, they'll take you too. But who are you? We are people who refuse to put up with the tyranny of Zagro.
I might have known, Aeneas. I can always find someone here in your tavern who would be better off in prison. What have you got against me and my friends? I know every one of you. You are the ones who are spreading unrest and discontent among the people with the lies you tell. I have orders to arrest all of you. In my country, before you can arrest someone, you have to have a better reason than that. You're a stranger here, aren't you? Yes, I come from Leecha. Well, in the prison of Carrier, there's plenty of space for you, too. I'm afraid that space will stay empty. <laughs> Call soldiers. You're a pack of cowards. And I ought to have your hands cut off, since you don't know how to use them. We were overpowered, sire, because that giant is invincible. Away with all of them. Put these cowards in prison. A giant. They were afraid. They see only giants wherever they look. Perhaps you have forgotten Ursus. Ursus has crossed the border of his land long ago. But what if he decided to return? For what purpose? If you'd noticed the way he was gazing at the lovely Sira. Enough of that! I was only trying to put you on your guard, Zagro. Am I supposed to believe that Ursus all alone has put to flight that whole crowd of soldiers? Don't you remember what he did all alone against those bandits of Andros? Andros? Tell me how you came to know that it was Andros who waylaid and attacked that caravan with Sira. Well, you know, everyone says he did. I know nothing of this. Well, evidently your sources of information are less reliable than my own. Did you hear that? What do you know about Last it? Last night, two of the guards say they saw a man's shadow lurking around the apartment where Sira is. They ran towards it, but the man had disappeared. Though not before they were able to recognize Ramos, that slave devoted to Sabra. I see. Very well done. After all, tonight I don't want any guards posted around Sira's apartment. But that way you're exposing her to certain danger. Do precisely what I tell you. great and well-beloved King Eltheus is anxiously waiting to learn the particulars of your recent journey. Oh, it was certainly an adventurous one. However, I bring him one reassurance. King Zagro is the best husband that any lady, let alone our beloved Princess Sira, could wish to have. The thieves tried to kill us during our journey. Saved your daughter. And so did the valor of my soldiers, I Oh, think. certainly. Many of them, in fact, gave their lives while defending her. I'm sorry there was bloodshed. That's not a happy omen, is it? You mustn't read any omens in such circumstances. Lycurgus, my friend, you know the tender affection I feel for Sierra. 
Surely you know how deeply I am devoted to you. Do you think that Zagra will make Aturi happy? Oh, I am thoroughly convinced of it. Sira will be reigning queen over a great people. She will have a man at her side who will be able to defend her well. Thank you, Lycurgus. The confidence which I have in you causes me to share your optimism. Thank you. I can't stay here with you, my friend. Every hour that passes might mean death for my princess. Be reasonable, though, Ursus. If you go to the palace, you'll be putting your head in the lion's mouth. Zagro never forgives an act of rebellion like yours. I'm not afraid of Zagro. Maybe not, but all of us are afraid for you. Listen, I'll be careful. I'll go to the palace and try to speak with Princess Sarah without anyone knowing that I am there. You mean a disguise? Yes. Your great size alone will give you away, Ursus. How many men as big as you do you think there are in Caria? One of us could slip through unobserved, you know. Certainly oh, is. Which horse is the fastest? This gray one here. Better give him something to eat. He has to make a long trip with my brother Ursus. Very well. from Ursus for her. Go down to her room then. Do you remember where it yes. is? Yes, it's at the end of the hall. Run. now, my lord. Ah, yes. You have reason to be, my dearest. I think these jugglers are somewhat of a bore, and watching them does make one drowsy. Withdraw if you want to. I wish you pleasant dreams. brought us here? Because tonight you're to sleep in this apartment. What is the meaning of this? It is only what Zagro has ordered. What Zagro wishes to have done may well be an order for you, but not for me. I wish to return to my own room. Believe me when I tell you, Sarah, it's much more healthy for you if you sleep in here for at least tonight. May I keep my handmaiden with me? You may do anything you wish to, except leave this room. What can they mean by all this, I wonder? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe they've discovered Darius and want to prevent me from seeing him. Oh, no. If anyone knew he was here, it would be much simpler to have him arrested. Thank you. 
weren't expecting such a reception, were you? Who was it who sent you? Your mistress? We'll see if you can find your tongue after a hundred lashes with a horsewhip. You needn't rail at him like that, Zagro. Everything that Ramos does is on my order. So it was you who plotted this little diversion. You know very well it was. Get out of here! Come on now. What did you think you were gaining by getting rid of Sarah? The elimination of my only rival. You know very well you have no rivals here. She's the woman you're going to marry, isn't she? It's only a marriage for political reasons, Sabra. After you have married her, she will be the queen here. After I've married her, she will still be the only legitimate heiress to the throne of Altheus. Doesn't that have any significance for you? Don't you see how powerful I shall become? When I have finally combined the two, the territory of Caria joined to Lycia, and I have welded them into one great kingdom. Yes, when Altheus finally dies. Altheus will die very soon. Altheus will die whenever I want him to. Right now at his court, the dagger has already been sharpened that is going to cut the slender thread of his existence. When Sarah becomes my wife, Altheus will be killed. But why haven't you told me any of this before? I should never have told you of this even now. What I should have done was have you put to death by the only faithful friend I have. I too am your faithful friend, Zago. And I love you. Everything I've done, I did only for love of you. I know. Here he comes now. At last we'll know what's going on. Come on. Welcome back, Anion. What you? Tell us everything, Angus. Uh, unfortunately, there's not much to tell. From all I could find out, it seems there was an eventful night for everyone in the palace. Someone evidently tried to do away with Sira, but Zagro discovered the plot in time. Then she is safe. And my little brother? There is no news of him at all. But this is a good sign, because it means that no one in the palace is aware yet that he has got inside. And now they clear out of here. telling you exactly what I heard with my own ears, Princess. I was hiding there inside that jar. I was afraid to move from there until I heard you and Lydia come in. You say Ursus told you to come here to warn us that we're in danger. Yes. That is, I did what I thought he'd want me to do. The person who will be in most danger is my father. On the day when I'm married to Zagro. Yes, you're right. You have to run away. Ah, oh, that's easier said than done. I can get away from here and go straight back to Ursus. He'll come and set you both free. No, Darius. The most important thing to do is go straight to my father. Let him know that a murderer is lying in wait for him. And are we to be left here all alone, at the mercy of that monster? Zagro would never dare to harm us. He knows my life is much too precious to be risked, at least until I have married him. And he has to marry me to carry out his plan. But the wedding day is almost here. This is one wedding that will not take place. Come on now, get moving, you lover. I wish I were carrying the head of Ursus instead of this rock. You'd never be able to break it. I'd bet his head would break stone. You're supposed to be working here. Come along, Darius. After you, father. That open gate you see over there lets you out into the street. Now run. Get on, move on, I said. Hey, that's the boy who was in I fire. remember him. He was there with that giant. He's an enemy of Zagros. Quick, run and catch him, and don't you let him escape. Stop that boy! Come back here, I say! You little devil, where are you running to? Huh? I should earn this Nasha. one. Stop! Nasha. Look at you. Nasha. Well, now, are you going to tell me where Ursus is hiding? You're a stubborn little boy, aren't you? Why do you want to force me to use my whip on you as if you were a grown-up man? Why not? I am a man. Are you? And would you still be a man when you feel the teeth of my friend there? I tell you, I'll never betray my brother. No, Zagro. 
You must not touch him. Remember that he is still a subject of my father's and a friend of mine. And you remember that his older brother is an enemy of mine, though he may not be my subject. Nonetheless, he dared to infringe my statutory laws and massacre a great many of my soldiers. That's no reason for you to harm him. I'm not going to harm him. I'm going to kill him. If Ursus doesn't give himself up. Have it officially announced by the public heralds. I'll no! give him three days no! and no more. Where's my little brother? Now, don't worry about him. He's well. Well, I want to see him. If you keep calm now, nothing's going to happen to him. Darius. Darius. He can't hear you. Zagro's prisons are very large. warriors who let themselves be beaten by one man alone. He was not an ordinary man, sire. You're a disgrace to your regiment and my army. But I'm going to be lenient. I want to give you a chance to reinstate yourselves. We will do whatever you wish, sire. You will all meet Ursus again in hand-to-hand -hand combat, in front of me. And if you are victorious, you'll be set free. Otherwise, though, otherwise I'll have you put to death. I'll have your heads cut off. Do you hear? Did you want me to come here? Yes. I know how few the distractions are at my court, unfortunately. So I decided not to let you miss this spectacular show. I don't think this one would be to my liking. Would it displease you to watch Ursus in combat? Ursus will win. If that's the case, it'll be the worst for those men of mine. <laughs> Stupid cowards! Or would you prefer the blade of my executioner's sword? Stop him! All of you get in there! Hold him! Hold him! Hold him! Hold him! Hold him, I said! Says if you lose, nothing will happen. But if we lose, it means death. Good men, good for you. Now that's how I always want to see you in combat. You hear? Behaving like valiant men, like real warriors of Caria. <laughs> Take him away! <laughs> Keep still, you dog, and get to work. Put your back into it. That goes for the rest of you. Faster! If I were half as strong as you, I'd break my chains in two, and I'd make that slave driver eat his whip, I tell you. Not if you had a brother in Zagro's prison. You'd let him whip you and do nothing about it. Faster! No appetite, huh? I don't blame you. 
You're not eating despite Zagro, so others will say he starved you to death. Do you think he'd mind if they do? I won't eat this stuff. It makes me sick. You're mistaken. Today the food is better than usual. Zagro has even sent you some wine to drink. Some wine? Why, this really is wine. Then the officer wasn't joking. Evidently not. But it's more than 20 years that I've rotted in this revolting prison here, and such a thing has never happened. Zagro is out of his mind. Watch out, you! It's been poisoned, more likely than not. Well, that would be a big joke on us all. Bah, what do I care if it is? I'd rather die with a good belly full of wine. Huh. If, if it's really poison, give some of it to me. Oh, me Just too. a bit. Me too. That is, if you're sure it's not poison. Help drink! Yourself. Now, you, you'll get drunk. <laughs> hey, why don't you have a drink with us? Have a drink. I've already had some. There's plenty for all of you. Deve essere buono il tuo vino. Lo stanno bevendo tutti con gusto. Quelli berrebbero anche l'aceto. Perché fate questo? Io sono con voi, ho un debito. Presto, con un presto. E noi ti siamo amici, ma la prudenza non guasta Resta mai. Resta con noi e monta sul carro. Cammina. Is the great Zagro afraid of little children? Ha, I'm not afraid of anyone. Then prove that you're not. By releasing Ursus. No. Ursus would be much more useful to me as a prisoner. I know that he is very dear to you. But don't forget, those two are entirely in my power. What did he mean by that? Don't you understand? It was a vicious threat. He will have them killed if I refuse to marry him. But if you go through with this marriage? My father will die. I know. Oh, Lydia, if there were only some way I could warn him. Potent stuff, that wine of yours. With the drugs that I mixed with it, they'll be out until the day they dormir hanno fino domani. Don't be afraid to rise, be your friends. Agnes! You didn't drink any wine, did you? No. That's a good boy. We would have had to carry you Hurry, let's go. Moving. to be repeated. What happened? Some traitors made their way into the prison and managed to get away with a young boy there. That won't happen here. You've had your warning. Push harder! I'll murder you! Faster! That's it, Ursus. Force it! You can do it! Keep working, you loafers, or I'll make you dance. Go move, I tell
Elias, little brother. We'd better stay here for the night. Yes, and tomorrow at dawn we'll separate. You keep close watch over my princess. Darius and I will go back to Lichia. King Altheus yes. must be told as soon as possible what Zagro is plotting. Very well, Ursus. This is a serious accusation. You realize that? I can only repeat that your life is in danger. And who is supposed to kill me here at my court when my daughter has become the wife of Zagro? Zagro didn't say who it was. Don't you believe me? Your accusation is one that has to be weighed with the utmost caution. But there's not a moment to lose. We gallop day and night so that we could warn you. I'm grateful to you. Therefore, I'll have to retract my word and put an army into the field to force him to return my daughter to me. But that means a war against Caria, which you're compelling me to declare. Not I, but Zagro's treachery. Or would it be your jealousy, Ursus? What do you mean? It's, it's apparent to everyone. Don't deny it. Even your king knows you're in love with Sarah. That's true, and that's why I... You? Ha! You'd like to see me prevent this marriage between my daughter and Zagro. Isn't that what your aim is, Ursus? What you're thinking is monstrous. Is what we are thinking monstrous, or what you yourself have plotted? Explain first and foremost why you wanted to return to Caria. You ordered me to. You wanted me to warn Zagro that Syrah was in grave danger. I? I never gave this man such an order. You're lying. It's you who are lying. Guards, arrest him. You'll regret that you didn't listen to me, sire. Put him in the dungeon. I suspected that Ursus would try to do something of this kind. Hmm. A man crossed in love will commit any kind of villainy. But, Sierra, will she be content at that court, Wazgro? Ah, you may rest assured as to that. I have never before seen her lovely face so shining and luminous, or her sweet lips smiling so radiantly. Ecco l'acqua, Sierra. How are you getting on in your new apartment, my dear Sarah? I'd be willing to spend the rest of my life here, rather than marry you. Very well. If that's what you insist on, you may end your days here in solitude. I shall do whatever is pleasing to the gods. I shall obey their will. No. You will do what I want you to do. I have decided that you are to become my wife, and I shall... No. That I'll never be. Oh, yes, you will. And very soon, too, whether you're willing or not. Beloved Syra, daughter of the great King Altheus, may all the gods look with mercy and favor upon our marriage. Syra of Lycia, daughter of the magnanimous King Altheus, you have covered your countenance in sign of maidenly virtue. Reveal your innermost soul now to the gods. Do you swear eternal submission to your king and to your lord? I swear. Great King Zagro of Caria, I entrust to you the bride whom the gods have chosen for you. Defend her, protect her, and may your union be fruitful.
The wedding ceremonies have been completed. And now go, messengers of the king. Make your way to Licha with the news that Zagro and Sira are now happily married. The holy rites have now been performed for us, my adorable Sira. <laughs> And now it's you who will inherit the throne of Licha. No one will be able to contest your right to it when Althaeus dies. You're very clever, Sabra. <laughs> Certainly. All of my astuteness is at your service now, because I'm devoted to you. You love yourself above everything else. Why, how can you say that? I've done all of this for you. Or for you. I'd improved the prospects of your plan. You would never have succeeded in breaking that stubborn girl. Yes, you're right. But now I'll have to repay you, won't I? And buy your tongue to silence it. Isn't that so, Sabra? We all pay sometimes, my dearest. Well, I don't. I was expecting this of you. You're unable to do anything to me, you know. You can't send oil soldiers and have me shut up in your prison any more than hand me over to your executioner, for I will give your game away, and then you'll have done all your plotting for nothing. I know. But I may be able to fix you... in another manner, my dear. <gasps> like this! Ramos! Help me! Oh! oh. No, Dagu! No! 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 Ah! Look how the happy people rejoice at the glad tidings of the marriage between your daughter and Zagro. May all the gods decree that their rejoicing be justified in truth. Ursus has planted seeds of doubt in your heart, O King. Only for that reason, he deserves to languish in prison for the rest of his life. shouting out there. There's nothing to see, Darius. <laughs> There's a festival today, do you hear it? We've just heard the news from the kingdom of Caria that Sira and Zagro have now celebrated their wedding. That's good news for you. Today Althea's pardons a hundred prisoners. You might be among the lucky ones, the two of you, huh? <laughs> we won't be among them, I know. must get out of here. Now Zagra will have Altheus killed. How are we going to keep him from doing it, Ursus? If we stay shut up here, we'll never prevent him, that's sure. The stars do not show themselves favorable to you, Altheus. I did not ask you to consult the stars for me, but for my daughter. All that I can see are terrible things, O King. I dare not tell you what they are. I implore you not to ask me. Speak. I see tears, Althaeus. Tears shed by your daughter and blood shed by you. on the terrace now with his astrologers. The moment that he's left alone,
on, Darius. Let's get out of here. Hurry, Ursus. You alone, O oh immortal goddess, have the power to change the destiny of mortal men. The destiny of mortal men is written in the eternal stars. But sometimes we may interpret them badly. The essential thing is to ascertain whether or not you were telling me the truth. May the gods ward off the evil which we have prophesied for you. Thank you, my friends. You may all withdraw now. Someone scream in here. So did I. In there, in there. They've killed the king. Who's killed Alpheus? It must have been he. Arrest him. Don't let him get away. It may not be as bad as you think, Sira. The jailer might even have been lying. No. He was telling the truth, I know. My father was murdered. Zagra was achieving all that he planned. Remember what Darius told us? But Zagra can't advance any claim to the throne of Legia, not unless he becomes your husband. And who is to tell him that? You and I, Lydia? We would only be heard by these gloomy walls. But somehow we'll get out of here. Alive? I don't think so. When he has finally gotten all he wants, that evil man will have us silenced forever. No, Sira. There's a rumor among the jailers. They're saying that Ursus is free again. Yes, I know. If only it's true, perhaps we've a chance of being saved. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the kingdom of Leecha. All our hearts are with you, even if still bowed low in our grief at the bitter loss which we have suffered. The murder of your great king Altheus was also a terrible blow for me, and my dear wife was unable to accompany me. She is prostrate with sorrow. Now the people of Lycia are also my people, as dear to me as the people of my own kingdom. And we are grateful to you, King Zagro, for having come to rule us, because a people without a king is like a body without a head. Ascend, therefore, the throne of Altheus, who will have in you the most worthy of successors. I'll do so if this is what all of you wish. What all of us wish is only your sovereign right. Thank you, my dear friends. Stop where you are, Zagro. May the gods never permit such a sacrilege. Arrest him, I say. He assassinated King Altheus. Stand back! Let him speak. I will. King Altheus is dead, and I alone know who it was that put the weapon in the hand that stabbed him. You did like Hergus. You were secretly in league with Zagro, who aimed at usurping that throne. That man is a maniac. Put him under arrest. Stop! <coughs> he assassinated King Altheus. I saw him stab the king. Listen to me, warriors of Lycia. Many of you are veterans who have fought at my side. Now it is for us to avenge the murder of our king. Why should I have killed him? To have you revenged because he refused to let you marry Sira. It's my word against yours. Then let the gods decide. They will determine who is right and who is lying. Let me be subjected to divine judgment. That is the only way to discover the truth. I will undergo the most difficult trials you choose. I am ready. Aye. Zagro, king of Lycia, refuse to grant you this. You are not yet clown, king of Lycia, Zagro. 
It is up to the ministers to decide this. Ursus, you will have to undergo terrible ordeals. May the gods assist me if I am innocent. May they destroy me if I am guilty.
proved your innocence, Ursus. I admit that, but not one of your accusations. I repeat my accusations against you and Zagro. Be cautious, Ursus. Zagro is a legitimate heir to the throne of Leecher. If you don't succeed in proving beyond a doubt that he actually plotted to have Altheus killed... I don't know how to prove this, but I know it's true. My brother heard him explaining his plan to Sabra. But what a mere child says can have no weight as evidence. That's what you said to Altheus, and he refused to hear the evidence. And now he's been assassinated. I have sent an appeal to certain friends I have in Caria. Courageous people in rebellion against Zagro. Zagro? But how dare you do such a thing, Ursus? It means we're at war with Zagro. Don't expect either friendship or loyalty from Zagro. He came here with a peaceful looking escort, but his entire army is encamped in a forest a few leagues from the city. My army is moving, Ursus. And your time has run out. The surprise attack is on my side. Zagro, you're a traitor. You've always been a traitor. I didn't believe what Ursus said, and I admit that I was mistaken. But you're in our power, and we shall punish you for this, Zagro. You're a faithful friend and ally, aren't you? <laughs>
you, my dear friends of Kaya. I thank you with all my heart. Only because you love justice, you set me free and restored me to Leecher and my own dear people. How can I repay you for your services? We ask nothing of you, Sida. What we were fighting for, we have already obtained thanks to Ursus. We have been liberated forever from the tyranny which weighed upon our people. I dare not even ask your wish, Ursus. You deserve such thanks from our people that even the Queen of Leecher cannot repay you for what you've done. I have only one favor to beg of my queen. I want to serve her with devotion and obey her always, no matter what may happen. I am always ready to lay down my life for her. Is there anything else you ask of me? Yes, Ursus. I want you to live at my side and reign with me over my people. Queen Sira, the populace is waiting for you. 